Okay, for a couple of months now, uh, I've been doing a schedule, a release of my videos. Uh, I've been doing Monday videos, Wednesday videos, and Friday videos. I'm watching my daughter, by the way, so if you hear random yells from the other room, that's what it is. Um, and each week I release a new video on the topic for that day. So let's say Monday is Linux general videos usually having to do with shell scripts. There'll be a new video every Monday on that topic. Wednesdays currently are Python 3 videos. Every Wednesday I release a new video on that. And Fridays are HTML5 Canvas at this point. Well, uh, I'm wondering what you guys think about that. Uh, I think there's good things about it, and I think there's bad things about it. Another option that I've thrown around uh, would be to make the videos for the month and release them at the beginning of the month on one topic. Now, right now, I don't have time in my schedule to make videos every week, because uh, I'm either working or watching my daughter while my wife is at work. So what I tend to do is once a month, Approximately, I take one day and do nothing but make as many videos as I can that day, usually on one topic. Then I put them in a playlist and schedule them to be released each week, uh, which is working well, I think. Um, but at the beginning of each video, and usually at the end as well, I say this is part of a series. That there'll be a new video released every week in this series. Uh, and so if you can't access the next video, it will be up in a week. And I still pretty regularly get comments asking, why can't I access the next video? So, uh, <laughs> my thought on this is to be able to release all the videos again at the beginning of the month on a single topic. So, let's say this month I want to release all my Python videos. I take all the Python videos I made and instead of releasing them once a week over the next two months, I'll just release them all right now, today, and not do any more videos for the rest of the month. And that way you can watch them all, and you don't have to wait till next week for that topic. Now, as again, there's, I can see good things and bad things about both. Uh, right now, people might get frustrated that they get halfway through a tutorial series and have to stop and wait a week, and then they only get one more video, and then they have to wait another week. And I can see that as being annoying. Uh, but at the same time, let's say you really like my Python videos, and this month I make a Bash video and a series, and next month I make a HTML5 series, and then the month after that I do Python. You just went two months without Python videos. Is that going to aggravate you if the topic you want isn't available for a couple of months? Um, again, I'd be releasing the same videos I would be as before, just releasing them in big bulk packages rather than a little bit at a time. Both ways, I'm trying to avoid you guys getting frustrated and unsubscribing, because I like having subscribers. And what's really getting me thinking about this, and I've thought about this a lot in the past, I've changed how I do my schedule a number of times in the past, and although I think how I'm doing it now is working well, uh, I'm just wondering about your opinion on what you think might be better. Um, a couple of weeks ago, what really got me thinking about now is that I looked at my YouTube statistics. And over the last year, over the last year, I gained about just short of 2,000 new subscribers, which is great. But I also lost almost 600 subscribers. So kind of a two-step forward, one-step back deal going on there. And I don't want to lose subscribers. And of course, I'm always going to be losing subscribers because I can't do videos on every topic every day, you know? And I'm sure a lot of those maybe are on topics that I did years ago. and. I just don't do videos on those topics anymore, or very rarely do topics, because there's just too much to teach to be able to teach them all at once. I'm only one person, and this is just a side thing for me. So what do you think? Do you like having it where I have a different topic each day of the week that I do videos, three different days of the week, and you have to wait each week for uh, the next video if you're watching them as I release them? Obviously, if you're watching older videos, you can go through a full series all at once? Or would you rather see me release them sometime in the first week of each month, 10 videos or so, 10 or 15 videos, with, you know, the number of videos we'd normally get in a month, but all on one topic, one subject, one playlist, all at once? Uh, you know, another thing about if I do start doing that, let's say 
I make a series that's 10 videos long, where, but actually I'm going to be doing 20 videos of it all together. Do I release 10 videos this month that I get done, and then next month do I release the other 10, or do I go to another subject and then a couple months down the line bring back this subject, because do I really want to have two months of the full of the same subject? Uh, I, again, I don't want to lose you guys. I personally find all the subjects I do videos on interesting, but I understand you may not. <laughs> um, and if I do decide to change the schedule, it will be a couple months because I'm already scheduling stuff a few months out. Uh, so let me know what you think below, and uh, I'm, I'll read the comments. And, and obviously, look at the date this video is posted. It's going to be early November of 2013. If it's months later or years later, don't bother commenting below because I'm probably already made a decision. And we've either changed or haven't or gone with a completely different schedule at some point. Because as I said, I've already changed my schedule a number of times in the past. Just trying to find what makes my subscribers the most happy. So, same videos, just, I don't know, is it a good idea to have a month or two on the same subject, avoiding all other subjects? I guess it's great if it's a topic you like, or will I lose subscribers because you guys aren't? But at the same time, I might get more subscribers and more views if people can go through the whole series, because maybe they'll watch a video or two, and then, oh, the next video's not available, and then they never come back for the next videos, where if I release them all at once, they can go through them all, and I might get more views. So, and, and yeah, the views are important to me. Um, so let me know what you think. Um, again, got a lot of good topics coming up I've been working on, and uh, I just want to get them to you in a way that, that's great for you. So. Uh, so on that subject, let me tell you about some of the things I'm working on. Again, I've been working on HTML5 Canvas, basic stuff, which we're coming to the end of. Soon we'll hit that with uh, 3D, basic 3D elements uh, uh, in HTML5 using both Canvas uh, and WebGL, maybe a little bit of the CSS stuff, and I'll explain what I know of, of the differences between those. Um, yeah. Continuing basic Python 3 stuff for a while. Uh, shortly, uh, the beginning of 2014, uh, once we finish the said series, which will be going for another uh, month or two, once we finish that, I, I'm going to be working on a series on uh, basically uh, Linux file, system, file systems, partitions, live CDs, um, and just all, and boot process, bootloaders, all, all, all that on that subject. We're going to be taking images from live CDs, mounting them, taking the file system image, extracting them, mounting them, pulling stuff out of them, putting stuff in them, repackaging them, putting them back onto a CD, and making it a bootable CD, and and, and all stuff like that. So we're going to be going over just a bunch of stuff like that. We're going to be doing some uh, Cheroot uh, file system installs so you can uh, Cheroot into other Linux distributions on your current running system, uh, which is great, especially when it comes to like working on Android devices. You can Cheroot into a Debian or Ubuntu or whatever um, operating system you want and run whatever program you want from their repositories. Um, also, a great way to do installs on different systems or create a file, a, a true ARM system for an ARM device, whether it be Android or, or maybe a router or something. So we're going to get into all that stuff. Uh, might be a little more advanced than some of you are used to, but I hope that I think I'll explain it pretty straightforward. And I hope that you'll find it be a lot of fun. So that's another thing we're working on. So look forward to that. Hope you guys do too. Let me know below. Do you think it's a good idea to do a monthly series, releasing it all at the beginning of the month, or do you think it's good to have a variety throughout the month so that if I do decide to do a topic you don't care about, there's still other options out there and you're just not, not watching my videos for a while? So comment below. Thank you for watching. Hope that you have a great day. In the meantime, comment below, let me know what you think. And Ember, what sound does a dog make? Arf! Arf. That's right. <laughs> Ember, do you have any other suggestions for my YouTube channel? Uh, yeah, Dad. I think, I think, I think you need more Ember on your channel. Oh. Oh. Oh.
sound does a dog make? What sound does an owl make? An owl? No, that's a dog too! Oh! You're supposed to say who?